Hey everyone, I am back today to talk through my bullet journal. Um, so I have been bullet journaling um, on and off now, probably since April, um, and I have been in several different types of notebooks. Um, and then I decided that I wanted to go back to rings. So I am using a Forever New Sophie, which you'll probably have seen quite a bit of if you've been watching my channel. And this is what we've got inside. Um, so it's not got lots of pockets in the sofa, there's just two. Um, so I've got some stickers, some bits and pieces, um, some stencils, um, and that's the, the only things that I've really got in the pockets there. Um, I don't decorate it because to be fair, the sofa is quite a thin planner. It's not really wide, so I don't try and decorate the pockets. Um, I've got my key for my colour coding there and then I have got my tabs so my tabs are month, week, daily, social media and lists so it's evolving all the time everyone knows with a bullet journal you do something one week, one month, one day um, and it works and then you change your mind so this is the month setup so I printed this off from Wonderful just because I thought it was really pretty. Um, in the background, James is just watching our member chipmunks um, and Abby's napping. So um, if you can hear some Abby and the chipmunks background noise, that is why. Um, so I've got their 2016 at a glance. And then just a future planning spread. So really it's just birthdays, anniversaries, that kind of thing um, in my future planning spread there. Here um, I have got my July month at a glance um, and then just some notes and bits and pieces for July things that I want to try and do any to do's any events anything that's going on there and then it's similar setup for August with to do's and events then September slightly different so it's still the same monthly spread there um, but on the right hand side here I've got events monthly to do's and then um, I've also oh god the guinea pigs are at it now can you hear the guinea pigs squeaking um, what I'll probably do I'll probably end up having to re-record over the audio of this video um, anyway we'll push on through um, so here I have got a sidebar which is just a list of the days of the month with anything that's going on and I quite like this sidebar I quite like just having a long list of the days of the month and anything important there. Um, and then I very quickly just did um, an October one just because there were two things for me happening in October. Um, but I haven't done the right hand side page yet because I'm, I'm good, I've got the time, it's good. Then the week. So for this particular notebook that I started, um, I actually started it while I was out in Spain. Um, I got the bug to want to try and start bullet journaling again. So this is why it starts in July. So I've just got a July at a glance bit of a page there. And then it just goes into some weekly spreads, which are very basic um, because these are all holiday related. So obviously I had no events, nothing to, uh, as such for the holiday. Um, so I just put down like the temperatures while we were away and what we'd done on the days um, and then I also record the number of steps that I've done on that particular day um, look at that one there yes um, so that is what I record on the the, the weeklies when I was starting um, then this week was the week that um, we came back at the end of the week so here I've got some to do's and then uh, events and any other notes can go on this side then the first here the eighth so this is just the same weeks then this is where it started to change a little bit so that's just another normal week the same as the ones before and then this week what I decided to do was use a sidebar to capture bits and pieces cleaning and things to buy, things that were coming, things to do, all sorts of things to record. Um, so I liked that. And then the week after here, I decided to try and do like an, an Erin Condren horizontal style in the bullet journal. So 
uh, for each day, like today for example, to do, today, little things. Each day, just things that are going on. Um, still with a sidebar of things that need to happen. I look forward to next week, things to buy this week, places to go. And then here, a very full on to clean uh, section of the sidebar and then some notes here. Now what I've decided for next week is I'm going to shuffle it up so that this note section appears here and then everything else will just get pushed down. Um, because I actually really like this spread and I get to use my favourite stickers which is awesome. Daily pages. This is just an example of some daily pages that I have done. Um, they differ so that was quite um, a decorated week with plenty of space. This here was um, lots going on so I've got like nearly two weeks on, on that spread and then a lot of free space there um, this was last week so a bit more space I've tried to record some food there much more space for notes I don't get upset if this white space I don't try and fill it um, I don't really have the time and then this is just this week um, which yesterday was crazy with it being the bank holiday we ended up going to Ikea and buying a new bed for James and then we had to take Abby's old bed apart and then we moved James's old bed and put it into Abby's bedroom and then we moved James's bedroom so yesterday I was off the charts busy um, so I didn't get any chance to colour code and then today um, again I haven't had a chance to write down my to-do list but it's in there we'll, we'll get it done um, social media so just a little index there of the pages that I've got then my social media numbers tracker uh, this is starting off a list of inspirations of people who that I like for things like planners or bullet journals. Um, so every now and again, when I get a minute, I will go in and add people onto this list who I love. Um, October prompts for my challenges. So I have done here, plan with me, uh, PHG challenge and I did the GLAP challenge, but I don't think Hayley is doing another one next month. Uh, and then here on the right hand side a list of um, the videos that I want to do for August and then here uh, the September prompt so I've only found two I could do with a third one really for my September prompts and then here is my uh, list of videos for September and that's my social media and then lists so here you've seen this list before, it is my um, monthly cleaning jobs and my fly lady schedules zone, 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 which this is the one thing that's keeping my house clean. I love this spread, I love, yeah, just the fly lady like this is just the best thing for me, honestly. Um, 17 before 2017, 17 things I want to try and do before the end of the year. Planners, um, I haven't finished this list, I need to get around to that. Uh, my weight loss, um, my no, so this weight loss, by the end of the year I'm hoping to have achieved my goal here. No junk, so um, I've done more than that because I started it on the 22nd and today is the... Uh, 30th so I can scribble a few more up there so that's good yay um, my six weeks of summer spread the six weeks holidays how I planned to entertain um, the kids here um, my master grocery list all the things that um, we would buy at some point for the cupboards here and the next thing that I want to do is write down a list of meals. Meal inspirations that me and Chris love, meal inspirations that the kids love. So those need to be completed. Uh, my health tracker. So really I'm just tracking things like my number, my number of steps. So this gives you an indication of when I think. Um, so my, oct uh, oh sorry, August health tracker. 
this for me is a really good indication because I think oh I'm doing enough steps and, and I'm fine and um, so for the month I record the number of steps that I've done what that equates to in kilometers and then on the days that I managed to get out for a run which has been shocking for um, August so that shows me that I need to up my game and I need to get out running more but what it also does is it shows me that on this month anything that is in this colour here so this one this one this one this one are bad days because I've done less than 5,000 steps anything that's in green is a good day and of the month I have only had two days where I've done the amount of steps so that has got to change so I know for September I need to up my game I need to be making sure that this number is always above 10,000 um, but this is the whole point of doing these kind of health trackers because I know now where my shortfalls are um, and how I'm going to up my game. So that's good, that's the whole point. Um, and online orders. And then I think that is the end of my lists. So there's not stacks and stacks in there, um, but... Um, this is what I've got so far so the next thing that I will put in here now is a September health tracker um, I need to complete my master um, meal ideas lists um, so this is what bullet journaling in a ring band planner can look like I hope it's been of some interest to you if you're considering doing ring band binder planning um, comment below let me know what you think um, and I will talk to you all soon bye